This is Star News. All right, folks. Uh, this is the show a lot of folks been waiting for. We've been talking about this for some time. And uh, uh, also our folks in regional, Daniel, surrounding area, joining us here live at the studios in Martinsville. With us, we've got uh, Malvester Dixon, who is uh, going to be discussing some things about the... Um, different aspects of religion uh, pertaining to, I guess, the Muslim faith or um, um, the Holy Bible, King James Version, okay. That's something I was going to ask you about, one of the first questions King I wanted James to ask you about. Authorized Version. Authorized Version. Yeah. And of course we got Johnny Robinson, and Johnny Robinson has, uh, as normally you're seeing him from Reedsville Live uh, at this time. And this is going to be set up as somewhat like a little debate, and we're going to try to uh, inquire and uh, kind of look into some of the different aspects of the different religions and the different aspects of it. And basically how it's going to work, uh, Johnny's going to open up with about 10 minutes of uh, conversation of some things that he wants to talk about. Then Malvester will uh, reply for 10 minutes, and we'll kind of go back and forth. And uh, then I'll ask a few questions. We'll give a uh, chance for maybe some folks to call in if they got some specific questions of interest that pertain to what we're talking about. And that's really the differences between the religion. Is that, and that's what we're talking about tonight. Well, I'm actually going to be presenting information that I think people don't even know about in, right. in the religion. Um, I think Malvester may be putting out his view of Christianity. Everybody else already has their view of Christianity. I think Islam is basically an unknown religion. I mean, most people didn't even know about Islam really until you know we had the issue with 9/11, which I'm not tying them to that at all. I'm just saying, all of a sudden, spotlight, boom. Well, is the Islam nation of Islam is that the the, the same as the Muslim religion, or is that different? Well, the nation of Islam is a new. We we are in a, a new Islam, really. Uh, so, but. I, I really want to talk about what did the Bible say. That's your program. That's well, what the thing is, my Vester, we what get to talk Bible about say? what you want to talk about during your 10 minutes, and I get to talk okay. about what I want to in my 10 All minutes. All right, we're already getting started. I tell you what we're going to do, uh, <laughs> folks, good. we'll take a, a quick break. I think that we're going to let Johnny come on first for 10 minutes, and then Mal Vester respond, and then we go from there. Okay. And um, um, it's going to be an interesting program. Glad y'all are here. I want to thank y'all for coming. I really do. Appreciate it. I've been looking forward to it for nearly 10 years. Nearly 10 years. Good to see you on the set. Well, you know, if I, I promise you that uh, about 10 years ago, and now I want to make my word bond, so that's why I'm here. Uh, but uh, if not, I would have waited longer to uh, uh, deal with it. But since I, I gave you my word, and the Quran say, why would a person say something and don't do it? Allah hate that. So I heard the uh, Well, the Bible says in 2 Peter 3, 9 that God's not slack concerning his promises. Men count slackness. And so I didn't think you were slack, Malvester, just because 10 years had passed. Right. I, I figured you'd come sooner or later. Things would get turned around. Well, you know what? We're here. All right. Praise All right, folks. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Back live here at the studios, News Channel 18, Martinsville, and reaching out to the folks there in Reedsville, Danville, surrounding area. And uh, we're going to be talking about some of the different aspects of uh, religion between the uh, nation of Islam and Christianity. And with that, we'll let uh, Johnny Robson, uh, we're going to go with uh, 10 minutes, and Johnny has some things he wants to talk about. Johnny? All right. Um, I appreciate the station here doing this. I think in case uh, everybody's not aware of it, this debate would not have taken place had it not been for Channel 18 bringing the, the, uh, uh, this opportunity to you. I had made the challenge to Malvester. Um, actually, I'll take it back. In 2000, this is a picture of the Ma Midman March. That had just taken place, and they were talking about having the second Midman March, and a friend of mine called Malvester up when he was talking with Kip Wallace. I've showed that over and over here on uh, uh, Channel 6 then, and um, he told Malvester that uh, he wanted to know did he believe uh, in Islam, and he said he did, 110 percent, and so the gentleman's name is Ronnie, he said, uh, well, would you be willing to discuss with my preacher? And Malvester said, anywhere, anytime, and so uh, the gentleman said, well, okay, I'm going to call him up, and so he asked Ronnie, he said, well, what if your preacher doesn't want to do it? Ronnie said, if he doesn't want to do it, I'll come out of that church and become a, a, a Muslim. So everybody had a good laugh, and uh, I called up immediately after that and uh, talked to Malvester and Kip, and uh, this basically has been scheduled from that time frame. And so 
tonight what I want to say uh, in the beginning I think is going to shock some individuals. I'd like to uh, play something that actually took place around that same time frame and uh, let's, let's hear this. I have respect for him now and thanks even for him for standing up to Mount Fester mm -hmm. with the word of God because true enough John, Johnny or the, the, the pastor there knows the word of God and I'm thankful for his knowledge of the word of God to bring it forth to someone like Mount Fester who I've heard twist and abuse the Word of God. If you don't read the Word of God, don't quote the Word of God. But if I were to say to you that, that, that you were to look at a, let's, let's say, uh, a Jackson... Uh, he goes on, Kip goes on and makes his own argument. I'd like to say tonight that I'm not standing up to Malvester, and I'm certainly not standing up for the lady who called in almost 10 years ago. I believe that the individuals in this area have uh, ostracized and demonstrated to me as well as what I've heard them say to Malvester that they do not care about what the Bible says. And so tonight, uh, even though I gained that lady's respect back in 2001, I may lose it tonight. And I wasn't really looking for her respect in the first place. What I'm looking for is, is the truth. And I want to present to the community this uh, evening that the truth isn't being taught in the, the churches around here. Um, I believe one of the reasons why we have the Nation of Islam, in my opinion, as a person who tries to study it, uh, I've read uh, one of Malvester's prophets' books, Elijah Muhammad, A Message to the Black Man. I'm going to refer to it several times uh, during this, uh, this discussion. I've also read the autobiography or the, the uh, biography of Alex Haley of Malcolm X. And from what I can see in these writings is that one of the things that has caused the growth and the uh, great excitement amongst the black community having to do with uh, the Nation of Islam has to do with the false teaching on race that's been going on in the churches uh, for the last, I don't know how many years to put on it, maybe 200, 250 years. I believe that tonight if we submit to Christ, now Malvester can correct me if, if I'm wrong on this, I believe the meaning of, of Muslim is a person who completely submits to Allah. I believe that if we truly submitted to Christ, we would not need the nation of Islam. And the problem that we have in these churches is persons haven't submitted to Christ anyway. We have the most segregated day of the week every single Sunday. And all the churches around here, they gather up by race, by culture, and we continue to have that. And I know from the Bible that I'm reading, Jesus has the, Jesus, the true Jesus of the Bible has absolutely nothing to do with that. And so uh, I would uh, encourage Malvester, and that's what I'm trying to do in this discussion, uh, rather than drive a wedge between us immediately, my basic plea to Malvester and the Nation of Islam in this area is to encourage you to investigate the Church of Christ. We have zero, absolutely zero, to do with the denominations in this area. We do not teach the same thing they do. We don't hold the Bible the way they hold it. We are completely different, and the church where we assemble, 23 Starling Avenue, actually represents the uh, racial divide uh, percentage-wise in this community. I think, I could be wrong, but I think the, the uh, percentage in this community in Martinsville and Henry County is somewhere between 40 and 60 percent, 40 percent black and 60 percent white. The congregation that I am a preacher in represents that demographic very closely. The last preacher we had was a white man married to a black woman. And so we're saying that we're putting our uh, uh, preaching into practice. And uh, I want to state that in the very beginning. And, it, you know, it may cause a lot of people to say, well, you know what, I'm tuning this guy out. Uh, I, I thought he was going to come on and just try to ride roughshod over Malvester and the Nation of Islam. I'm not. I am, I, I am going to try to be hard on the doctrine that they teach tonight. But at the same time, I'm not trying to gain anyone's respect in the, uh, quote, Christian arena around here. And so um, how, how are we keeping time? About four minutes. Okay. Let me just um, begin with a couple of uh, pieces of information that I think persons need to know if we can go up to our graphic. One of the things that um, Elijah Muhammad, who is uh, one of the purported main prophets of the Nation of Islam, I believe that he uh, received his message, claimed that he received his message from another uh, individual, and I may pronounce some of their names wrong, but this gentleman's name was uh, Master Farad Muhammad, and Elijah Muhammad stayed with him for three years as his student and he got the information supposedly straight from God, from Allah, and uh, then he wrote a book, more, maybe more than one book, the one that I've really keyed on, in on is The Message to the Black Man. And, and in it, it says the problem with America is the preachers of Christianity. The greatest fear and greatest problems is the preachers of Christianity. 
Uh, you can drop that for a minute. You know what? I agree with that 100%. I agree that the preachers in this area and that in the United States are the great problem that we're having in regard to race, culture, peace, the whole bit. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was in uh, the post office, and I, I do this on a regular basis. These preachers already know this about me. I do not talk to anybody unless I have a tape recorder. And I called Early Dillard, who I've been trying to catch for uh, literally years, uh, I called him in the post office and uh, I had a discussion with him about something that I have just brought up in regard to the division. And I, I don't play favorites. I'm on the white churches just as much as I am the black churches. It just so happened that I was running into Early Dillard that day. I have done in the past two weeks some, uh, some uh, investigation. I hate to say it that way, but somebody needs to investigate and expose what's going on in these churches. And I happened to meet with Michael Penn not too long ago, and this is going to build up to what Early Dillard said. Michael Penn told me that Anybody who teaches tithing that you're going to go to hell if you don't tithe is actually unscriptural and it's not according to the Bible and, and he doesn't agree with that. Well, it just so happened that I had my television on two weeks later and Mark Price comes on who's uh, in another church here in town and he says you're going to hell if you don't tithe. Well, I knew that Early Dillard had just had Mark Price in his church and I also knew what they all went through. They went through a ritual. It was pastor's anniversary, and Mark Price is not about to get Early Dillard's money. So Early Dillard had a table for his people when they came by the collection plate. They put the money in Early Dillard's plate, and anybody that followed Mark Price over there came to Mark Price's table, and they put the money in Mark Price's uh, uh, table. So, you know, we're going to keep this money. That's the main thing now. We're going to keep this money apart. And so I asked Early Dillard, I said, what did you think about this uh, information that I presented how that these two guys who are actually together on a regular basis actually are opposing each other on a very uh, prominent doctrine. His response, and I have it on tape, is I don't get into that. I don't get into doctrine. I don't get into what one of these other uh, religions teach. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, get to heaven, get my way out of here. There, uh, therein lies the problem. And what really is at the bottom of the problem is the money. I'm not going to, these folks are saying, I'm not going to get into what Mark Price is doing and I'm not going to get into what uh, Michael Penn is doing lest I make some of their family members who attend at my church mad and all of them get mad and leave. And so uh, not too long ago, I, I actually held a video or an audio recording for about four years of something that Darnell Carter said. And uh, folks who are listening, many of you know Darnell Carter. His uh, brother is discussing with me right now. Um, and uh, Darnell said that the reason why all of this stuff was going on, uh, Darnell is in a different religion too. He's actually in Geno Jennings' religion, which is opposed to all the religions around here too. Darnell said it's basically a game that they're playing. He said it's just like the game that's being played on the street between the rappers and the drug persons. He said it's just moved over into organized religion. I agree with that. And therein lies the problem. The good old boys are up in the churches. They run the county from inside the churches. If you want to get close to one of the good old boys, you've got to get in the right church that he's in. And nobody is really interested in teaching what Jesus says about our fellow man. And so I want to say to Malvester tonight that even though I'm going to have to oppose some of the things that uh, Elijah Muhammad says because I don't believe they're accurate, nor Muhammad, that they're accurate. It is not a personal attack on him. It is that I believe that the presentation of Jesus that he has gotten from this community and maybe from his upbringing is not the Jesus that I serve. I serve a Jesus that is totally different and I want to present that information to you tonight. All right. We appreciate that. We're going to take a break, folks. We'll be right back and with Mal Vester's uh, response. Stay with us. Back live here at Studios News Channel 18 and for our viewers there in uh, North Carolina and Danville, uh, Thank you for joining us, and uh, now we're going to hear a response with uh, Malvester uh, Dixon, and I think uh, Kevin's going to read us some scriptures too. Yes, sir. So uh, I'll let you respond. Okay. Uh, all praise is due forever for Allah for coming in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, and we thank him over and over for the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, the firstborn of the dead, and we thank him for the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the spirit of truth that's in our midst today. Um, uh, I, I like to uh, respond to some of the things that uh, Johnny said. Uh, uh, he said that uh, because of uh, people deviating, uh, that's why the nation started. And I say God never sent a, a prophet or a messenger unless something wrong. So something had to be wrong for him to send uh, a messenger. And, uh, and that's why Master Fraud Muhammad came. And I want to... Uh, deal with the coming of God and uh, the, in the Genesis the 15th chapter the 5th verse down to the 13th verse 
I want you to read that for him. All right. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look toward Ford heaven, and tell thee stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall they see be. And he believed in the Lord, and accounted it to him for his righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur, of the Chaldees, to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, Take me on here first, or of three years old, and a she-goat of, of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these, and divided them into the midst, and laid each piece one against another. But the birds divided he not. And when the fowls came down upon the carcasses, Abram d drove them away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram, and lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. Okay, this is where Abraham uh, had seen that uh, a people that was going to be uh, taken to a strange, in a, to a strange land. And they, they would serve a strange people for 400 years. And then afterwards, he would come. God said he would come, not that he would send a messenger or a prophet. He would come. And then uh, uh, we would come out in great substance and live to be in a great uh, good old age. And then I want to uh, deal with Matthew 24th chapter 27. What I'm trying to do is show you uh, the promise that God made to Abraham that his, he would come after his seed after 400 years of, of slavery in a strange land. And, uh, and, and, and I'm talking about us as black people that was brought into, the, into North America uh, and, 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 and was enslaved for 400 and, and now for uh, 50, 50 or one years that we've been here. And, and, and I want to show you where uh, uh, the scripture said that in Matthew 24 chapter, read that. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, so uh, the scripture is saying that uh, as lightning shine from the east into the west, so shall the Son of Man come. And, and, and when he come, he will find the, uh, his people gathered under the symbol of the eagle, and the eagle will feast off of their carcass. And the symbol of America is the eagle. And uh, I want to go further, but I'm going to come back to that point uh, in a few few minutes. And let's go to the book of Habakkuk. Uh, I want to show you where God is, is, is mounting up to come. Uh, in the third, the third chapter, third verse six, third to the sixth verse. God came from Teman, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand and there was the hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence, and burning coals went forth at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the hold nations. Hold on right there. He, he measured the earth, and when Master Fry Muhammad came, he taught us the circumference of the planet, 24,896 miles. He taught us the diameter of the earth, 7,926 miles. We ran it off to 8,000 miles. He taught us how much land it worth, 57,255,000 square miles. He taught us how much water it is, 139,685,000 square miles. And he taught us about the Pacific Ocean. He said the Pacific Ocean is 66,634,000 square miles. The Atlantic Ocean, 4 million. 321,000 square miles. The Indian Ocean, 29,430,000 square miles. He taught us that light travel at 186 miles per second. And he taught us that sand travels at the rate of 1,120 feet per second. And, the, and he taught us that the sun uh, is 140 Fahrenheit. And the earth is 93 million miles from the earth. And, 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 the, and the sun put light on the earth eight minutes and 20 seconds. He taught us all of this. Uh, uh, and, and then uh, 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 we, we'll go on to uh, Romans 8, 3 and 4. 
where it's showing that he came in sinful flesh to condemn sin in the flesh. Uh, he had to come uh, disguised because they was looking for him, someone to come. And I'm going to show you that in a, uh, when I go back to the 24th chapter of, of, uh, of Matthew. I want to show you where uh, about the eagle. Uh, uh, you got Romans? Romans chapter uh, 8, 3 and 4. Now, is this the uh, King James Bible? Yeah, the King James Bible. So you don't use the Quran? Uh, you know what? I, I teach the Bible mostly because of the fact that my people is messed, locked up in the Bible. And the same thing, put them to sleep, the same thing, I'll wake them up. But see, people don't teach the full gospel. They teach certain parts of the book. And I want to bring forth the full book that, uh, that will uh, raise, raise Lazarus from the grave and bring him forth. Okay. Okay. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay, now this man right here, Master Farad Muhammad, he looked white, but uh, he was a black man. And he came, and he studied for 42 years to come to get us. 42 years, and he came, and, and he went to all the colleges and universities. He went, to, uh, went into all the libraries, and he studied. He studied the black man, and he studied the white man. He had to find a teaching that would bring one down and raise the other one up. So therefore, he, he, he studied. He, he met with a couple of presidents, and, and they knew who he were. But uh, you know what? It was time for him, and they couldn't do nothing about it. But he had to come like that in sinful flesh so they wouldn't see him coming. And the scriptures say he came uh, under cover darkness. That means he come unobserved. He come without noticing. Uh, people didn't know him when he came. And when he came, he went to Detroit and started off, started off there. And he went door to door selling silk. Uh, and he, he would, uh, they call it black bottom. And he went and, uh, door to door and he'd tell the sisters, how you doing? He'd say, uh, I, got, I got some silk from your brothers in the east. And, and the sisters said, what brother in the East? They didn't know about no black man in the East. They didn't know we, we were uh, uh, from the East. Most of us did. And at that time, you know, it, it was in the 30s. And, uh, and, and, and when he was telling them that, and they was very interested, so he said, well, gather your friends, and I come back and teach. And he, he went back, and then he started a, a, a study group. And before you know it, he had a lot of followers. So he, so he went to, uh, then he started a study group off in, in Detroit. And then after that, um, you know, they made him leave out of, Chica out of Detroit, so he went to Chicago. But, you know, uh, Master Fraud Muhammad uh, is the one that came, and he found the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Uh, this man, only a third grade, went to only the third grade of education, and he taught him for three years and four months, and then left him here. He didn't ask him to give me some money. He left him and didn't ask for a dime. He knew that he would be a big man one day. And Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, he uh, uh, raised up a nation that's powerful in the 30s. The black woman put on a long dress and a headpiece. Black men come off of crack cocaine, come off of a heroin, and, and, and come out in the streets of pimping and, and all of these things and become a righteous man, you know. So you tell me, uh, what could do that but the power of God? And that's what we need today, somebody that that will uh, uh, stand up, but we have one today that's doing that, and uh, that's why I'm here. And uh, th this is my time, right? So well, I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, folks, we'll take a break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Come back, thank you for joining us. And Johnny, obviously a response, we're kind of going back and forth with a little response, and then we're gonna get into some questions about, you know, the difference in the religions that people can understand between Jesus Christ and let's say uh, Elijah Muhammad and that sort of thing. So, Well, one of the things that I want to encourage the community to remember, and I doubt that some of them do remember, but I, so I have the clip for you tonight. Malvester said 10 years ago that he didn't believe that Jesus raised from the dead, so don't let him come in here and think, uh, try to pretend that he really believes the Bible. He doesn't believe the Bible. All he's trying to do is, is ease into your heart by saying a few things good about the Bible. And tonight what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate that all he's doing, all they're doing, Elijah Muhammad, uh, they started the black man's religion. This is a whole thing about the race issues, just like I said from the very beginning. It's about the white churches not being really 
uh, honest about what the Bible says about race. So what they've done is they've just responded in kind and they've started a black religion. And we all know here in town that it is a black religion. And I'm going to uh, demonstrate to you tonight that we don't need either Elijah Muhammad nor do we need Muhammad. And I want to show you why. Let's go to a video that I have of the peaceful religion that we're being told about. Uh, the Nation of Islam, listen to Malcolm X. In all of this, is that two black groups have to fight and kill each other off. Elijah Muhammad could stop the whole thing tomorrow just by raising his hand. Really, he could. He could stop the whole thing by raising his hand. But he won't. He doesn't love black people. He doesn't even love his own followers. Proof of which they're killing each other. They killed one in the brown. They shot another one in the brown. They tried to get six of us uh, uh, Sunday morning. And uh, the pattern has developed across the country. The man has gone insane, absolutely out of his mind. Besides, you can't be 70 years old and surround yourself by a handful of 16, 17, 18-year-old girls and keep your right mind. <laughs> you can't do it. Frankly, uh, it has been a uh, well-known fact uh, though only in the form of rumor that uh, there has been a great deal of uh, apprehension at my being out of the black Muslim movement on the part of the black Muslims themselves. And I had uh, stated in a newspaper article about an effort to take my life back in January, and at that time the Muslims denied it. In fact, they tried to make it appear to my brother that I was insane. But on a program in Chicago called Hotline, was moderated by Wesley South. John Ali, the national secretary, admitted, uh, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, one of these days last week, that they absolutely were going to kill me. Why are they threatening your life? Well, uh, primarily because they're afraid that I will tell the real reason that they've been, that I'm out of the black Muslim movement, which I never told. I kept to myself. But the real, real reason is that Elijah Muhammad, the head of the movement, is the father of eight children by six different teenage girls, different, uh, six different teenage girls who were his private personal secretary. Uh, four of them had one child apiece by him, uh, two of them... Come back. All right, now, folks, what I'm demonstrating to you tonight is, is that Malcolm X, one of the persons who is the most popular Nation of Islam person that you know, if you're 50 years old, 60 years old, one of the most popular, well-known uh, person in the nation of Islam you ever heard of was Malcolm X. You may have forgotten what happened about, to Malcolm X. You may not have known. The other person that you probably knew was Muhammad Ali. But here Malcolm X is telling that he was exposing Elijah Muhammad for having sex with six of his secretaries. Well, that's not the only thing. And, I, you know, really, I don't see why that they bothered to do that. Now, let's go to my screen right quick. Uh, I'm going to ask Malvester which one of the hadiths that he actually uses. We have both of the uh, hadiths, the hadith, which is actually the commentary or the uh, running context of the uh, Quran. If you ever read the Quran, you know you can't make any sense of it without something extra, and that's why he's not talking about the Quran tonight because he knows he's not going to make any sense. So, but basically, here's the rules for the Muslims in regard to to marriage. And what I'm going to demonstrate tonight is both of these hadiths, the most, the two most popular hadiths. Uh, if you find it in, in uh, one of these hadiths, it's, it can be right. If you find it in both of these, it's ironclad. Go back up, and I'm going to show you what we're actually talking about. Here in uh, uh, the first hadith that I'm looking at, volume 762, number 63, it actually states that Muhammad took a wife who was six years old, and he consummated the marriage when she was nine. Now, that's in one of the very popular hadiths, and tonight we'll ask him which one he actually uh, follows. The prophet... And he goes on to say, the prophet, I used to go around, have sexual relations with all his wives in one night, and he had nine wives. So here you got a guy who's going around having sex with all of his wives in one night. I remember asking, uh, I hear in, here in this, right here on this station, asking Gallimore if he's having sex with two of the women at the same time, and he didn't want to talk about that. Well, they've got it right there in their hadith. It's clear as a bell. Now, here's another one, uh, another popular hadith. And basically, uh, uh, Muslim scholars say, if you find it in both of these, it is ironclad. This is the second one that actually says that he was having, a, having sex with, his, uh, uh, with this nine-year-old lady. So, you know, come back to me. What's the big deal about Elijah Muhammad having sex with, his, with six secretaries who are under the age? Muhammad, the guy who he's following, was having sex with a nine-year-old. And, folks, this was at 53 years old. The man already had eight wives when he's 53, and now he's wanting to have another wife who is nine years old. You know, you can't tell me these are the individuals that are going to solve our problems. 
All right. Hold on, folks. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for joining us. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, kind of some explosive information there. We're talking about some people that you allegedly kind of follow, and he's talking about this sex scandal with kids underage and sex with the teenagers and that sort of thing. Of course, you get a chance to respond. Well, you know what? I don't know about uh, what, it, what uh, or he trying to say, but I know most it, it, Abraham had wi uh, wives. Uh, all the prophets had wives and more than one wife, so I don't want to get into an argument about that because that's where it were all through the scriptures. David had wives and Solomon had a thousand wives, so what's the problem about that? That's that's a, a, a little, uh, that's a poor excuse to attack a person for when God make it lawful for someone to have, and if he made it lawful for it, then I don't have nothing to say about it. But I want to get back to the 24th chapter uh, of uh, Matthew where it says that, the, 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 that uh, the lightning shine from the east into the west, so shall the son of man come, and he will find the, uh, uh, the, the carcass where the eagles gather that that's where the carcass will be and if if you look at this dollar bill uh, this is the seal right here of the dollar bill this is the seal of America so what I want to do is show you where Israel is so that uh, people can know uh, uh, the, in, in, in the, and the symbol is the eagle right so I'm going to show I'm a, I'm, I want to show you something if you look at a dollar and you look at the top part it got a uh, it got 13 stars in it and I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. 13. And 4 right here. Four, right, 4 stars. And then it's 3 at the bottom. And then it's 4 again. And then one at the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna show you that uh, the seal of America. They always say money talk, but we never know who to say it. And they got one, two, three, four, five, six, six points and it, and, it, and it has six six points six angles and six degrees and and that, that is the seal of America and in and, and, and it's 13 tries and the 13 try and one of them got lost and that's this one right here and that's the black people in America that was the children of Israel and, and, they, and, and somebody had to come to get them. And if you look at the other part of this dollar, it got the pyramids represent Egypt. And if, and if you see the pyramids, and these are the people that built the pyramids. And their eyes, they're watching to see this man come. And then if you look at, in DC they got a, a, a monument. And then they got, it's 500, and 55 feet high. And if you make that one there, that's the year that they brought us here in slavery in 1555. And, 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 uh, but they say in the Library of Congress that we come here in uh, 1619. But we come here in 1555. And then, and I want to show you something else. Uh, I need that uh, bag, that bag with the stuff in. I want to show you something else at the Capitol building. What, uh, what uh, uh, we don't know, uh, give, me, give me that. We don't know. This is the Capitol building. And guess who's up on the top of that building right there? This man right here. Well, that's not the Capitol. That's the I mean, that's, that's, yeah, Justice Department. Justice Supreme Court of the United States. Yeah. And guess who at the top of it? It's the how did Muhammad get there? <laughs> and Muhammad is there. Uh, that's the Quran and Arabic writing, and these are secrets that that's hidden from the people, and uh, 
and not only th only that, uh, uh, the people uh, don't know that, that the Quran was uh, in the Constitution. Uh, Thomas Jefferson had a Quran, and our brother from Missouri, he, he went in office and he wanted to use the Quran to sway in on, so they got Thomas Jefferson's Quran. So that means that the Quran was there at the Constitution. So, uh, uh, but this country did not ever want uh, uh, Islam to enter into it because George Washington made a creed that Islam would never enter into the West because Islam free people and, and they, wanted, they didn't want the truth to come in and the Bible was written in parables and phrases so that uh, the people wouldn't know until the right time. The right time. So, and now it's, it's the right time. That's why information is coming forth. Uh, uh, and people need to start studying and learning that uh, uh, Islam is not uh, 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 religion is a way of life. This is something that you practice every day. You live every day. And how you treat people, that's how, that's your religion. And a lot of people like to, uh, uh, and then Abraham's seed, you know, I want to deal with that on the next uh, segment about uh, the seed of Abraham. Uh, how did the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians become enemies to one another? Uh, some happen because both of them, all three of them is at the house of Abraham. All three of them go back to Abraham. So why is it that we fighting and arguing with one another? It's because Satan got in the midst and divided us up. And they, they didn't intend for uh, the, two, the, two, uh, the three families to uh, join together so that uh, they could uh, overtake Satan's world. Satan's world is, is falling fast now because if you look at the tornadoes that God bringing on this country, and he whooping them hard. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk about that a little more <coughs> too, uh, when I come back. All right, and then we'll, then we'll uh, talk with Johnny a little more. All right. We're going to have some uh, conversation going, some uh, questions. Two-way. Two-way conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right. Back live here. Appreciate you joining us, folks. And, uh, Johnny, obviously some, I guess, controversial issues from, uh, if this goes back to what i kind of talked about at the beginning, the difference in the Koran and the um, King James Version of the Bible. What is that distinctive difference? Well, one of the things he just said, Bob, is he, he said that's in the East. He's not going to deal with the East, so he's telling us right here, and I have his book right here, they do not follow the Quran. I have it right here on, on uh, uh, page 49 of the message to the black man. It actually says, uh, it says that uh, the last one to come into the world is greater than the greatest of this world, and the Orthodox Muslim will have to bow. Well, folks, the Nation of Islam is telling the Orthodox Muslim, the, the people in the East, that they're going to have to bow down to the Nation of Islam, and I know that that's what they're saying because the guy that James Oldfield just debated, he said if Malvester builds a mosque over here, he's going to blow it up. So these individuals, he's claiming that he backs the, the Quran, and man, the Quran, these people in the Quran, they're not about to put up with that, that the Orthodox Muslim that the guys over in the East are going to bow down to the nation of Islam, not going to happen. So what I'm showing is, is Malvester is not being upright with you. He's not being clear. He doesn't follow the Quran. He's trying to sneak around with the Bible. Listen to this clip from when I talked to him 10 years ago and see if this man really believes the Bible. You be the judge. The question because I believe that Jesus, I believe in Jesus, I follow Jesus. I believe that Jesus came and, and they so-called crucified him. And, uh, Everybody uh, so-called crucified him. But I don't believe that they killed him. Uh -huh. I, I think he escaped death, just like the Bible said, because when they took him off the cross, they didn't break his leg like they did to other people. So if they didn't break his leg, they don't know what he was dead, passed out of what. And then when Jesus got the The question is then, if uh, who is it that does know? Malvester came on with that little uh, a drawing that he put up there a while ago and then tried to convince you that there's some secret writings on the Justice Building and uh, that Muhammad is behind something here in the United States. All this secretive stuff. Now, Malvester, you had your turn. You just go ahead and hold on. See, that, that's what's happening here. He's already wanting to talk into my time. And let me just go ahead and make this statement, too, while we're at it. I'm actually having a shorter time than he is. Uh, he's taking seven to ten minutes. I'm taking five minutes. That's fine, because that's all it takes for the truth to, uh, to be demonstrated. And so did you hear him just a minute ago? Folks, this man said Jesus Christ didn't die. Do not let him trick you into thinking that he is actually for the Bible. Number two, all you have to do is go on the Internet and look up the Roman insignia, and you'll find out that the Romans insignia that actually destroyed Jerusalem in A.D. 70 was an eagle. Jesus was actually telling the individuals that when they see the sign of the, the eagle, they better hit the road. 
In Matthew chapter 24, he says, if you're having a baby and you're giving suck, do not, you're in bad shape because you're going to be running. If, you, if you're on, uh, out in the field, do not come back to your house to get something. You need to run for the mountains. And when you see the sign of the eagle, you know that all of this is at hand. That was the insignia of the Roman army. All this stuff he's doing is just like the Jehovah's Witness. It's just like, um, uh, what's the gentleman over here that's got the other wives? And don't let him, don't let him hoodwink you into thinking too that this is all Eastern stuff. We're showing you tonight that this is stuff that's going on in Chicago. And I don't think you knew about uh, his prophet having sex with the uh, secretaries. All right, stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. We're going to rejoin on the set, and we're going to really get into some real debate and uh, give folks a chance to also uh, join us. Stay with us. Live and um, interesting dialogue and debate here. Obviously, some uh, very uh, different views. Uh, yeah. The Supreme Court, the statue. Yeah. Uh, do we have any? I want to show them. Authenticity of who that is, that statue? Well, uh, you know how I knew it was up there? New Gingrich. He did a histor uh, on the historical channel. Right. He showed it, and uh, I said, Lord, look at that. <laughs> and New Gingrich talked about it uh, 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 the whole time. And uh, this, this, uh, you can see the Arabic Quran. Has that been uh, bona fide as the part of the Quran? I mean, that's the Quran right there. You see it in Arabic writing. It looks like he's laughing at it. But, uh, uh, but you know, the Muslims uh, 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 demonstrated to make them take it down because they didn't want it up. I thought I had the uh, paper that uh, talking about it. I got it off the internet. You can go on the internet and get it yourself. But uh, what I want to do with, deal with is what... Uh, uh, Johnny said about uh, Jesus on the cross. Uh, I'm going to go in your, in your book, uh, King James Version, and show you uh, something about that. Uh, in Acts 5, 29, 31. Can you read that? And it reads, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, who ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So, so this right here tell, tell me that they hung him on a tree, not on the cross. And if you go to Peter, 1 Peter. Uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't get you. I didn't get uh, Acts 5, 29, 31, that uh, they hung Jesus on a tree. They didn't, uh, this is what, that's what he's saying here. Read it to him again. God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. He hath God exalted with his right this hand. This is the King James Version. Right. To be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. Now, which one did they do? Did they put him on the cross or did they hang him on a tree? Go to uh, 1 Peter 2, 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. But when you're talking about a tree and you're talking about a cross, the cross was made from a tree. Could that be something? No. Uh, see, Jesus, uh, the, the cross is a weapon that, uh, that, the, that the Romans used to use to, like, like, they, like they use the leckerchia here in the needle, people. right? Crucify people. Yeah. Well, kill people in a sense, like the leckerchia. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and you know what, if you look, uh, the Romans, Constantine had a dream one night of a cross. And in this cross it had written in it in Latin, in hoc, sing to the wind K, in this sign we conquer. And, and, and Con Constantine took this cross and went around the world doing the crusade and, and forced people to become Christians with the sword and the cross. And, and that's, that's why they made it the symbol of, of Christianity, but the early Christians, the early Christians, you know what the symbol of the, uh, uh, what the symbol were? Do you know, Johnny? It was a fish. And then when they uh, come along with the uh, Romans, then they put the cross out there so they could start. And then if you go, you're asking me, you can't prove that. Uh, uh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. We'll get, we'll get back on that. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, the did, early did Jesus die or did he, did he not die? Uh, no, he didn't die on the cross. Did he, did he die on a tree? 
Uh, you know what? Uh, the Bible contradict, con contradicting itself, but, but, but from what we uh, is taught about uh, Jesus, Jesus uh, escaped death, and he lived uh, a long life after that. Uh, but uh, he escaped death. They, they, didn't, they didn't kill him. So he, he, he escaped. The Quran but... say they definitely didn't kill him. Now, how do you, how, this is what I can't understand. You, you read out the this Bible, and then you read out of the Quran. I mean, they both come together. The Bible, the Quran backs up the truth of the Bible. Now, right. is this the segment where we're going to talk? Yeah, we're going to talk. We're well, going to well, talk. He's, he's making all these statements, yeah. and I need to respond back to him. Yeah. Can we, can we yeah. respond? Uh, uh, and and, 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 and uh, the, the thing we need to know that, that uh, uh, well, the way we uh, understand about Jesus, he didn't die on the cross. You know, uh, Jesus was a greater man than Moses. They didn't kill Moses. So why would God let them kill a man greater than Moses? You know, uh, 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 so you know what? And Jesus said in his own words, and no man had the power to take my life. I lay down my own life. So then did Jesus lay himself on the cross? No, they took him and put him on the cross. They viciously, the way they said, they viciously killed this man. And if you look at that, um, that movie, they beat him. They beat that man. I, I, I went and seen that movie. Uh, and and uh and uh, I, I I said they should stop beating that man the way they were beating him. Yeah. And then you know uh, why would uh, his disciples sit around and watch them beat him like that and don't do nothing? Part of the program. Stay with us, <laughs> folks. We'll be right back. And uh, deal with uh, the truth. You're we doing can... a good job. I'm oh, we're back now. We're on a discussion here about this. Um... Oh, the thing on the Supreme Court that uh, Newt Green. Uh... Greenridge uh, kind of exposed. Yeah. And Johnny says you can't prove one way or the other. I said it's my uh, granddad. John, Johnny said this is his grandfather. That's my grandfather. <laughs> but you know what? Muhammad what? was a white man. Well, he was. Yeah, but you already said you don't go with the East, and so I'm going to take you at your word for it. Well, I'm just showing you what uh, is on the, on the, uh, on the building that, uh, that uh, in America. And that don't prove anything. I right. mean, we're supposed to be having a discussion about but, your book and the Bible. We've already caught you saying that you did, and I appreciate you for saying it, Malvester, right out front. You snuck in here trying to say that you really believe the Bible, and then you came right out and said you don't believe Jesus died. Now, that's where you need to be. Why don't you just well, go man, on and say that y'all oppose the Bible? You know you do. I didn't say I ain't believe in the Bible. I say I believe in the truth of the Bible. Okay, go ahead and tell it. Now, the, the Mormons say the same thing. They say we believe in the truth of the Bible, but guess what? The Bible is not actually translated right, so you all don't have the real Bible. So go well, ahead and tell us. Do well, we you have got, the real you, Bible? You got the version, Do King, we have James, the real Bible? King James Version. Uh, well, I'm saying go ahead and tell us clearly. Go ahead and tell us clearly. I mean, the community can stand it. We don't really have the Bible, do we? It, on the top. On we the don't top really shelf, have the Bible, right do we, my version? Top shelf. This is not really the Bible. You said you believe the Bible, but you know it's what, been tampered what, what, with. What version is that? I'm just saying, go on and tell the community what you're going to say. What you, version you is You believe it's been tampered with. Y'all see this right here? This is King James. This is one that had the Bible translated. Translated. It's in the library. You can go right up there and say, listen to listen to this man right here. Let me see, wait here. I don't want to read the whole thing. Uh, but, uh, okay, let me start. She showed, she showed us James, the young king, who struggled to bring peace and prosperity to war-torn Scotland for almost, for almost 20 years before Queen Elizabeth died in, the, in England. Are making, you trying to make my point or Making your point? him heirs to the second throne, and he had to lead both nations for over 20 years or more. She showed how the explosion tension between political and religious factors under the rule were no more acute than his own uh, in, intentions. Uh, that drove him between his a wife he loved and a series series of homosexual favors between uh, scholars. Uh, so this is telling you that King James. Good, was, you're doing was, a was, wonderful was, job. Was, was, you're telling was, the community that you don't believe the King James well, version. Well, either. That's well, what I want you I'm, to do. I'm, I'm telling you that this man got dirty hands. Good. And then okay. And can now, we put up you, on the screen? I'm asking another read. question, John. Right I'm asking another question, John. Okay, you got Where to read. Wait a minute. Now you okay. just got to read, and I didn't get to say anything. Now put up on the mm. screen, if you would. What I have here is his prophet having sex with a nine-year-old. Now he's talking about this guy being a homosexual. And his prophet's having sex with a nine-year-old. Now you know what? Basically, go ahead and drop that. You're making my case, Malvester. You don't believe in the King James Bible. Why don't you just go ahead and tell the people? 
and you don't believe that Jesus you can, you died. You can't put words in my mouth. Okay, well, you go ahead and tell them. Tell them, on, tell them on the air so we all know when we leave here. Does Malvester Dixon believe the King James is the, the Bible? I said King James' uh, hands is dirty, and King James had, uh, I think, 40 people helping him uh, uh, translate it. And I'm going to ask you a question. What no, you didn't answer. You did not answer. I'm not answering your question if you're not going to answer mine. Do you believe the King James is the Bible? King James is the Bible. I'm saying the King James Version is the Word of God today. Go ahead and tell the community you don't believe that. I, I believe in the truth of it, and the no, Quran that's backs beating up around the, the truth bush. of it. That's beating around the bush, y'all. Well, he does, does that mean, if he says the truth of it, does no. that mean there's some division in it? Look here. Yeah. Here's his prophet right here. Let, let me read his prophet. He read from that. Here's his prophet. They have the Bible so twisted by adding and taking out the truth that it takes only God that, mm -hmm. that it takes only God or one whom God has given the knowledge of the book to understand it. That's right. So he's saying that his prophet had to come along and tell us what the Bible really says because it's so twisted. So why don't you just go ahead and tell the community you so don't believe in the Bible. The Bible say, how can they know unless they have a teacher and how can they have a teacher unless I sin? Are you so, quoting from the King James so, now? So, so, are you quoting yes, from the King yes, James? But you King don't believe James. King James is the Bible, so what are you doing I say I believe in the truth of it. We just caught you. You well, know that it's not really. I believe it's in the, the truth of it. Give me, the, give me the final call. Oh, you, you got one right here. Let me show you something. So, y'all, while he's looking that, for that again, he no, didn't I'm, I'm answer. Right, I'm right on he it. He doesn't we go believe right here. that Jesus died. He yeah, said this, that is, this is what out. we believe, John. Okay. This is what we believe. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the third uh, point. We believe in the truth of the Bible, but we believe that it has been tampered with and must be reinterpreted so that mankind will not be sneered by the falsehood that has been added to it. I just read that out of your book. Okay, what problem then. did you have with this problem? Okay, then. So this is this is this is it's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? But you what don't I'm, what believe I'm saying that, that the New Testament in the King James is really the Bible. I said we Tell believe us. in the truth of it. But you don't see, folks. That's double talk. That's why we're here. He doesn't really believe that it is the truth unless his prophet tells you what it says or he gets to tell you. Then he tells you that Newt Gingrich has to tell you what's going on at the Justice Building. And then he started quoting from The Passion of Christ. I mean, are you, you actually going to follow Mel Gibson's portrayal of what happened to Jesus? Well, Johnny, uh, what you going to say about, the, about him being hung on a tree and, 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 and being on the... It on the cross. So which one me. is it? Which it one is it? It doesn't matter to me. Oh, okay. Because see, we were discussing. Just like I said, I believe in the truth we of the were Bible, but, but you that cannot. Jesus didn't you cannot, die. That's how we got on the tree cross but you, stuff. But you cannot uh, uh, justify what you're saying, and, and, and by, by because of that, I'm gonna ask you a question. No, what, no. What here language here did he translate that okay, out of? Okay, here we go. See, what we're doing, folks, is we're getting off the subject. What really started this about the tree and the cross is I dead. actually had him saying that Jesus didn't die. And Bob, you asked him, did Jesus really not die? And he started in on that smoke screen. Well, it was a tree and it wasn't a cross. And then we got Mel Gibson into it. What really is the issue here is Malvester Dixon won't tell this community point blank. Well, I already have it for him. Malvester does not, I'm sorry, Malvester Muhammad does not believe that Jesus really died on a tree or a cross. They didn't kill him. He said that 10 years ago and he's saying it again tonight. So do, you cannot trust this man. Don't listen to him when he's talking about helping you with the Bible. What he wants to do is help you right into the arms of, of Elijah Muhammad. So what do you say to that? I'm saying this, that I believe in the truth of the Bible. The truth I stand by the Quran backs up the truth of the Bible. And uh, uh, the the hand, and I ask you a question: What language did the trans, trans the King James translate the Bible out of? Okay, I, I, it was, I'll answer your question if you will answer one of mine. There's going to be mine. I'm going to answer go it. You didn't give me a chance to answer, but I'm going to ask you: What language did you actually learn about the Quran? Now you going to answer that when I get through. What language did I learn out of yeah. the Quran? Yeah. All right. You going to answer that yeah. when I get through? Okay. What What was your question? What language did the New Testament come out of? Is that what you said? I said, what language was it translated out of? Greek. What was it before Greek? No, it was Greek. No, 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 no. That's what you say. Now, go no, ahead and no, answer no. my question now. Uh, uh, Greek, uh, 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 that language come out in the East. I now, mean, you're the, telling the, me that you don't know uh, what you, happened to, Mal to Malcolm X, but minute, you know what minute, happened in, in 100 A.D. Wait a minute. Uh, most people say it come out of Hebrew, right? I know you no, know that. No, it doesn't John. come out of Hebrew. Nobody, I know you, I know, no scholar but, but, says but it, it came out of Hebrew. But Absolutely it goes back to Islam. No, no scholar says the New Testament came out of Hebrew. I don't know where you got that. I'd like no, to see I ain't said the New Testament. I said it, uh, the Bible, the, what he had it translated from. It, what language Greek. was it? The New Testament was never in Hebrew. If anybody told you that, I'd like, to pr I'd like to see you prove it. You can't get one reputable scholar to say that the New Testament came out of Hebrew. Never. 
Well, you know, the original what? language is Greek. The, the now you answer my question. The original language that the Bible was written in was Arabic. It was Aramaic. not. You cannot Aramaic. get a you cannot get a scholar anywhere to say that. Well, it's Greek. Now you answer know, my question. I know. Well, I, thought, I, I thought, thought, I thought you were now. deeper than that, John. Uh, he's supposed to ask. Well, I'm saying you come up with a scholar. You, you come up with one person that says that the, the you first said that the New Testament was in Hebrew. Everybody the who's Greek, listening knows that. The Greeks John and come lately. Okay, here we go. They now you answer my question. Yeah, you answer my question. What? Can can the Quran be actually translated into a pure language in anything but Arabic? No, sir. Okay, how did you learn it then? You don't learn know Arabic. what? I don't know. I know I can speak a little Arabic. I don't know. A Arabic. little. And you come yeah. on here, won't tell us you're a scholar in the Quran, and you're, you're no, basically I, telling us so you. You, you saying that? No, you just said you you can't speak Arabic. No. So then the Quran that you're reading I can is speak, not pure. Uh, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki, Omadine. I can speak. I could something try that like too. It. Well. And nobody knows but, if but, it's... But the point, uh, uh, I can't... I, really, my people don't speak Arabic here in Who's America. Who's your people? Black people. That's your people? Yeah. So it's Jesus, and, and so Allah is only the God of the black people? No, sir. Okay, why no, are you sir. saying your people then? Am I not but, one of your people? But, uh, uh, you, you, is this you, a black you, man's you, religion? You can be my brother by, uh, in faith. Okay. And, but I have to go to Elijah Muhammad to do that. Well, you know what? Well, you know the Swanos and the Masons. Yeah. Okay, then you should know about that. Well, they talking about as much secret stuff as you talk uh, about, all no, the no, secret uh, signs uh, and all the stuff on the dollar bill. I'm and exposing all that. the secrets. You, I told I'm you that's my granddaddy. You hadn't proved this not my granddaddy yet. I, I don't want to prove it. I'm just showing you what's, uh, what's out there, and people can go on the Internet and find it themselves and show... Uh, now the internet should prove we got, we got and, and Newt Gingrich, we got Mel Gibson, and now we got the internet. I thought you was going to deal out of the Quran, and you already said that you No, can't. I told you I was coming on here and talking about what the Bible said. Well, then we talk, got your prophet saying that the Bible is really not the truth, not well, the King James. I'm still can talk about the truth of the Bible. Okay, which one are you going to, okay, what version are you going to read from? Y'all was reading from the King James while yes. ago, and you don't even believe the yeah. King James is really the truth. So why are you doing that? Are I you trying the, to play a game with us? Well, which part is true? Because I'm going to read uh, your prophet again. They have the Bible so twisted by adding and taking out the truth. All right, when you was reading in Luke a while ago and, and in Acts chapter 5, verse 29, was that the truth? Are you sure that wasn't twisted too, the part about the truth? Well, the Quran said that they did not uh, kill him. Now, here we go. He already said that you cannot have a Quran that is translated pure into English, and you don't speak Arabic, so I don't want to even hear what you said well, about then, the Quran Well, then, why would you want to uh, read the Bible when the Bible was written in Arabic and then Hebrew and then Greek and then into English? Okay. Well, why would you want to even test the Bible then? Here we go, folks. For as that concern. Here we go. Because if, if it was translated, I meant Arabic into Hebrew, Hebrew into, into Greek, then why would he even want to test the you Bible? You ask me and I'll answer. No one in if the If you want to come with that that that's, don't want to let that, me answer. That, uh, that he don't mindset. want to let me answer. If you no. want to come with that mindset, no. Johnny, well, why would you even want to test the Bible? Because let, him, let, him let me answer. The original language See, he was Arabic. Because I know, he knows I got the answer. I didn't say, nor does anybody who reads the Bible say, you have to understand Greek. You're the one who knows that you have to understand Arabic or you don't have a pure translation. The, you shaking your head no? Everybody, he's already said yes. Everybody knows that you cannot have a... a Quran that is really pure unless it's in Arabic. You just said right here and said it, didn't you? I said you cannot translate Arabic into English and give it uh, pure. pure form. Okay, so you don't You're have right a pure about Bible. That. I'm not going to disagree with that. Okay, thank but, you. But, but, but do you have a pure Bible? See, I don't make that argument. Wait a minute, no. If, if you won't say that to me about no, the Quran. you said it. If you don't say that to me about the Quran, let's I'm say it about this. I'm just holding you to y'all's argument. I don't say that, Bob. <laughs> I'm holding we you to that same thing you say. That, we don't say you have to know Greek, and we don't say that you can't translate from Greek and get a pure New Testament. See this they man right here? This man right here had people to translate that book into his version now, his version. Thank you. You're That's making my point. Right You're making my point. Malvester Muhammad does not believe in the King James, y'all. And he said, I didn't say I didn't believe in it. Well, what do you I believe? I said we believe in the truth what of it. What part of it is true then? Well, the part about the tree or the part about Jesus dying? Uh, uh, the part about uh, that... Uh, you don't want to answer those two instances no, I gave no, you? No, I'm, 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 I'm trying to deal with uh, something that uh, you said. Uh, what about, the, okay, I, I believe in uh, John 16, 7, 13, that uh, uh, about the Holy, Holy Ghost is a he, is a he, and he will lead you and guide you into all truth. He didn't say you. He was in the upper room with his 11 apostles. That's but, all. But, uh, but uh, he, it's a he. It's not, it's not a spirit. See, y'all want to make uh, the Holy Ghost a no. spirit that float around you know, you don't uh, need to put me with the denominations because well, you know I'm not with them. Well, so don't start saying well, I'm an apostolic. That's a good question. Is yeah. God a man or a spirit? He's a man. 
Thank you. And, Thank and, you. And, uh, uh, did y'all hear that? Did the community hear that God is a man? I okay, could have done it better I, I wanna, myself. I want to I wanna deal with that. Good. Go ahead. Give me, give yes, me my that's, book. That's give great me my, stuff. My God right is there. a man. Right Jesus did yeah. not die. And the King James is let me not show. really I'm a, the I'm truth. I'm going to show you. A fantastic let's God. Go, let's, well, let me, let's, let go, let's, let's go to Genesis 6-9. Is this the same book we're dealing with? Yeah, it's King James Version. He don't believe this is the Bible, though. But are we dealing with the same book? Yeah, he's wanting to read out of something he doesn't even believe is true. All right. Now, that's, that's King good James stuff. Version. That's good stuff. King James good is King stuff. James Version. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, you you know don't what? believe it, though, do you? I, I believe the truth of it. Well, which part of it is true? See, the that's truth double of talk. It. We all know it. The truth that's of it. That's the same thing the Mormons say. Everybody in this community knows that the Mormon says that, that the whore of Babylon has retranslated the Bible, and that's why they got the Book of Mormon. And guess what? That's why malvester has got the Quran, because he don't really believe that. He's just trying to get you in his camp just for a minute so he can trick you around all right, listen to into this. following this guy. Listen to this. Listen to this. Uh, from the king that the now. sons of God saw daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wise of all which they chose. And it says, uh, and the Lord, uh, I want to deal with the ninth verse, though. Uh, Y'all need to uh, get my smile. This is good stuff. These are the generations stuff. of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation, and Noah walked with God. So that means God could walk. Okay. He God ain't laid. a man, you're doing, you, you can legs. go ahead okay. and take let's all go, the time on that you want to. Let's go to the 32nd verse. I'm loving it. God is a man. Let's go to the 32nd verse. That's out of the same Bible. What do you I say know. that response? Yeah, yeah, I, I go ahead, I say that God talks about himself as in a way is. that we can understand, but yeah. he's saying that he really is a, a, a man. I'm loving it. You go right ahead. Okay. Y'all go ahead the, and give the, him all the time you want to. Genesis, the 30th, it said, and Jacob called the name of the place Pelim, for I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. Good. Face to face, King James. Good, good. So you're saying that's God, like me and you sitting here talking. That's good. God. That's good. Okay, I want everybody go, in the community. I'm not to about to get into this. You just keep letting him make his case. Let's go God to Genesis is 18. God is a man. Yes, when you get man. ready to pray to God, remember you're praying to a dusty-eyed man. And this man right here, okay, listen that's this dad, one. wants you to pray to him. Listen to this. No, he don't. He no, doesn't. he don't. Uh, he ain't dead either. Oh, uh, oh uh, Elijah Muhammad chapter, is not 18 dead. 18 chapter uh, of Genesis said, And the Lord appeared uh, unto him in the plain of the manor, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day, and he lift up his eyes and looked, and lo, there three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them, from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground and and said, My Lord, my Lord, if yes, I have God. found favor in thy sight, pass not away. I pray thee for thy servant. Let a low uh, let a low water, I pray for you, to be fetched and wash your feet. Now he got feet. He don't wash I'm his feet. I'm loving it. Listen Keep to going. Disney. Keep going. And, and, God is a man. Y'all and rest yourself under the tree. Rest yourself under the tree, John. Just sit down. I thought, I thought you <laughs> And I will a... fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your heart. Good. After that ye shall pass on. Good. And therefore ye uh, come to your servant. And now, they say it. So do as thou that. hast said. Yeah. Abraham. Okay, let me have okay. a chance, chance to respond. So, so it's show, it's show, I want to show you that Abraham you fed them and they ate. They job. ate food. You've done a fantastic job. How about give me a and, chance and then, and then the two men that was with them, we found out That's later, good. they was over. angels. That's good. They was angels, good. right? They went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Malvester. And do they destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Everybody here knows So the Lord was with them in two. Yes, yes, God is a man. Does anybody on this set tonight have a problem with him? Believing that God is a man. We Let me go him, over to the uh, Exodus. Does he believe God's a man? That's what he said. Okay. Yeah. Anybody have a problem? So you convinced everybody in here that you, Malvester Muhammad, believe that God is a man. Okay, we're Exorcist. done. You don't have to prove it anymore. 30, 30, let, 30, me, 30, let, let me read from your book now. And the Lord spoke unto right, Moses. It's okay. No, let's okay. no, no, just keep going. Go ahead, Johnny. All, All right, here we Johnny go. Who really prophet. is the God? This is his message to the black man from Elijah Muhammad. Is that your prophet? Messenger. Messenger. Okay, what is a prophet? But a messenger. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, never mind. So forget I asked. Uh, forget I asked. Today, God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. So tell us who is God, since he's a man. Is he is he this man? A lot come in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Now make it clear. He came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. I, I'm reading it. Today, God in the person of this That's man. That's right. He came in now, the person of Master Farad Now wait a minute. This is the guy a while ago that you told us it had to go to. Give me that book with the, can, I ask, can I ask you a question, my Buster? Is this the guy you that you said to had to go to University of California? Hello. 
Is this the guy that had to go to all the universities? Yes, sir. Okay, now God has to go to university? All that stuff you was, you was telling us that Master Farrar? man right here. Yeah, he had to go to university. He went he to did. study. Really? Jesus didn't go to any university. How come your man had to? Well, you know what? Uh, he had a greater job than Jesus. Really? I'm loving it. I'm greater loving it. Greater job than this Jesus. This gentleman, Master Farad, who is God, in the person of Master Farad, had to go to school because he had a greater job. Would you tell us what his greater job was? Uh, to deliver the black man, I'm in the hills of North America. All right. To raise us, I'm in so the So Jesus came to deliver the whole world from sin, well, and yeah. you're saying, oh, you don't believe that either, do I'm, you? I'm, I'm saying that uh, after he delivered us, Jesus came to his own first, and after he did deliver us, then he gonna go to the whole world. The minister getting ready to do that now. Who's the minister? Minister Farrakhan. He's oh, getting ready man. to do that now. I just heard Minister Farrakhan listen, admit listen, that he had a go, pardon killing Malcolm X. Let's go back to that. See, that right there, is, is the minister already deal with that. Uh, that. That is insane. You know, the same people that kill uh, Martin, kill Kennedy, uh, uh, they didn't stop killing. This is good. This is good, So we God. need to this know that. This is a conspiracy theory. So listen, let's go back, let's go back to, to the 33rd. Uh, chapter of Can Genesis. you tell us why they would want to kill Malcolm X when he was actually on their side for once? Malcolm X jumped out of the is Muslims and he's not an enemy anymore like he was when he was in the Nation of Islam. Now why would the white people want to kill him? Please tell me. Because that's what they do. Oh really? Yeah. Now he's exposing your man and the white people want to kill him? I think the white people want to promote him. Well, you know what? That's what they did. Really? How do you know that? You told a while ago. How I do you tell know? Bob, How do you I know what you're saying? I don't. You okay, told Bob then. you didn't Was know. you there? No. Okay, then. What, was you so in, let's talk about who we know. No, wait a minute. You let's was over, in, you was over in 100 A.D. while ago telling us who translated what. Was you there? Uh, but I, I read about it. Oh, really? So I read about Malvest Malcolm X, and I actually played the clip out of his own mouth. What do you say about that? Well, you know what? what you, We're supposed you, to you, you ain't played nothing to prove nothing. All you're doing is uh, uh, giving some kind of interruptions that uh, makes people believe this okay. and believe that. All right. All that stuff been done and settled. Okay, well, what about this? You didn't answer what we had to say about your prophet from the East. Now, you you going to tell us again on the air that you don't fool with the East? Did your I, prophet have a nine-year-old wife or not? Who? Muhammad? We don't have no prophet. Oh, so Muhammad's not your prophet. Uh, Muhammad, uh, 1,400 years ago, was the last prophet. Okay, now, see, it, are we listening to him out of the Quran or not? You going to throw the Quran away? But I'm talking about what the Bible says. Right? Oh, really? And that's what, you, that's what your program is? No, my program is showing that you okay, are not no, honest no, no, about no, any of us. No one, no one no. listened to us. No oh. one has listened to us. Have, have the mind to understand the Quran. So why are we going to talk about the Quran? Thank Let's you. talk about what the Thank people you. already know. Did y'all hear that? The people know the Bible, right? He said nobody so what's the point has the mind of me to understand talking? the Quran. I am pleased what's, that what, you what, said what's that. What's the point of me standing up here trying to uh, teach the Quran when the people is not uh, abreast with the Quran? Well, you we know. want a little basic understanding. When you're saying that the Quran kind of backs up something. It, it backs up the truth of the Bible. Okay. Well, but wait a minute, but the Bible's not true. And, and, and the Bible and the Quran have a, a 19 chapter, a whole chapter, Mary and Jesus. So people want to say that we don't believe in Jesus, we believe in Jesus. But, but what it, does it say about Mary and Jesus? It doesn't say Jesus is the Son of God. It says he's not, Bob. Well, well, you know what? Yeah. Uh, it says that he was a prophet. Does it say he's the Son of God or not? Jesus didn't say that himself. Oh, okay, here we go. The rest of the people said that Jesus I said he was the son of man. I just one simple question. Does the Quran say no, he wasn't the son of God? Would you please tell the community? Uh, Johnny, Jesus didn't say I he was the son of God. I knew you wouldn't answer. I knew you would not answer. Did Jesus if say you, he was the son of man? If you will answer that, I'll go get the scripture that says Jesus said he was the son of God. Well, you know what? Uh, so you're not going to do it, are you? Uh, uh, you're not going to do it. Do what? Tell the community, did the Quran say Jesus is not the son of God? The, the Quran said that Jesus is a prophet. Okay, thank you. You're answering, aren't you? You're not okay. going to tell. All right, I'm going to tell you far, Malvester, because he won't tell you. The Quran says Jesus is not the Son of God. Now, did I tell the truth or did not, I lie? Not a physical son of God. Okay, did no. I? Okay, thank you. No. That's what we wanted to hear. No, but uh, we can become sons of God. If I, I read over here where God had sons before Jesus was born. But we're not talking he about the He said the sons kind. of men took the daughters of, of, of uh, the sons of God took the daughters of men because Good. they were fair. Okay, so so you're so, saying, so so and then Job, uh, the sons of God met. With him the by, sons of God came to God and presented God, themselves to like God. Jesus. Oh, we could be. The son and, of God. Yeah, we could be all sons of God. And he got his prophet right here saying he is in God's uh, minister. Uh, what is his name? Farad. Now, all I'm doing, Mount Vester, I'm just verifying what you're saying. Today, God is in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Did you just say that El that Elijah Muhammad is not dead? No, sir, he's not dead. He's not dead. No, sir. All right. He so, but, but, but here, I want to go back to something you said to Bob, too. You talked about uh, Solomon having wives. I didn't say anything about having wives. I said a nine-year-old wife. Are you going to address that or not? Well, Abraham had a handmaid. That means a, 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 a wife. 
She was young. Very you know young. what? I got a wife, but does that mean I'm taking a nine-year-old? But you know what? Uh, uh, I don't have nothing to do with the prophets. If if God made that lawful for the prophets, then I don't have nothing to say nothing about it. You. you want to say something about it? You say it. Okay, Elijah let Muhammad. That, let that did, be on did, you. Did Elijah Muhammad didn't have secretary? Was he having sex with his secretaries? He had he had wives. Okay. I don't Under know about age. the secretary stuff. He had wives. Okay. Okay then. So now, what's the big deal then for him to have these secretaries impregnating these secretaries if this gentleman here, who is the main prophet, who Elijah Muhammad said you're supposed to listen to? Now, Malvester, we got you on tape here. You're saying that Malvester, you, you just said you don't listen to Muhammad as the last prophet, but this man came saying, I got, we got a whole well, section here. I didn't here. say that. Okay, what do See, you say? Daddy, you can't put nothing in my mouth. Okay, tell us clearly then. See, that's the <laughs> what, problem. What do you have. want me to tell you? I want you to say, what is your relationship to Muhammad? I'm not talking about Elijah Muhammad. I'm talking about the real Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad uh, uh, in the in the Quran is a sign of Muhammad that would become at the end of time. Okay, that's what. What's that? Now, see, we're all dumb. We I don't know. know what see, you about. don't you don't understand because you. that's why I say and I mean, we're plain. talking about that Make because if you don't understand, I know that people don't understand. Well, you know what? If Let's you talk would, about if what you the people talk understand. Plainly. Let's talk about what they understand. Okay, that they God understand is a man. This book. God's a man. We understand that from you. Okay, then. So, so how come you can't make this other part clear for us then? The I'm, part about Muhammad. Do you believe that Muhammad is the prophet today from the Quran that the, you're supposed to listen to? The, 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 the Holy Quran, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad revealed the Quran, and Prophet Muhammad was the seal of the prophets. Okay, I didn't get my answer. Do, is he your prophet today, or is Elijah Muhammad your prophet? The only Elijah Muhammad is our messenger. Okay, who are we listening to? Can we make it like that? Who the only Elijah to? Muhammad. Thank you. Man, that was to. hard, wasn't it? No, you could have said that you never beginning. asked me like that. Well, do I have to basically weasel it out of you? You could have said that from the beginning. No, so now no. what I'm getting is no, if you don't you distinguish between what you're trying to say, I could have been the answer. Did anybody have a, did you have a hard time understanding what I said, Bob? I asked him, do you follow Muhammad over there in, in Arabia, in Mecca, or do you follow Elijah Muhammad? And he beat all around the bush, and he finally came out and said, I follow Elijah Muhammad. Now, all the messenger. Muslims, yeah, as as the, the that's his yeah. last messenger. That's what he's saying. All right, now, is it, now that's one thing I want to distinctively say. Is that the same as the Christians follow Jesus as the messenger, as the Son of God? Is that the real distinctive difference between the Quran, the Muslim faith, and the Christian faith? Whereas Jesus, you're saying, was a man and not the Son of God, where the Christians follow him as the messenger versus who you follow as the messenger? Is that not a line we can draw? Well, right? well, uh, uh, well it, the truth of it, Jesus was not a Christian. Johnny, don't, ain't it right? He was the founder of the Christian religion. No, he wasn't no founder of it. After they, after, after they crucified Jesus in Antioch, that's in Rome, the followers of Jesus they was crucified called. Him listen, in Antioch. They, after in Antioch, after they they, they, they crucified him, they uh, called the followers of Are Jesus you your Christians. See, we're going Bob. all around they, the book. They call them Christians, right? And they call themselves mocking them and, 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 and calling them a bad name, right? Why don't you just right. answer what he asked you? He asked you, is Muhammad so, and, um, and Elijah Muhammad? So, so uh, Jesus was not a Christian. Christians can't Did take Jesus him? from us. Uh, as wow. though uh, uh, Jesus don't belong to Did us too. Did you ask him if Jesus well, was a Christian? That, 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 no. that, that, that's the, no, so that's the ugly part that. of it. The Christians want to just hog up Jesus as though Jesus, uh, uh, the Muslims don't have, don't believe in Jesus, don't I, follow I'm not, Jesus. I'm not saying that, but you obviously have made it clear that this is who you get your message from. And I'm saying the Christians obviously get their message from the the, uh, the, the King James Version as uh, uh, Jesus is the messenger, is the son of God. My question is, is that the distinctive difference at the line that you would draw between the two religions of you're following this individual as a messenger versus the Christian following Jesus as the messenger? Is that a distinctive line? Well, well, the, the Christians are, uh, uh, say they follow of Jesus Christ, which uh, I follow Jesus too. Right. But not, not as a follower as you do as Muhammad. Muhammad, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, 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 teach really the same thing Jesus taught. No way. No way. Jesus did not teach that I can't marry somebody that's black. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, did he? Uh, uh, did he? Uh, the Bible said, told Solomon to not Bible. to take a woman out of his race. He did not. Yes, he did. Prove it. Prove it's, it. it's right in the well, scriptures. Prove it. You go right you know to what? it. I don't have it. I don't have that scripture have uh, right, right up right now. But uh, see what he did is he tried to come on here showing you. But uh, the uh, but God told Bible Sodom not to take a, uh, a woman out of his race, and then uh, where is uh, it? Uh, uh, where Delilah, is it? Uh, uh, she kept on messing with him and, and, and got his secret. Delilah, man, yes. are you out of your mind? Yes. That's Samson. Well, Samson, that's what I'm saying. Samson, you're doing great. And uh, and uh, uh, Samson, great. the strongest man in the world, right? You're doing great. And and he he kept on. She kept on. Uh, asking him his secret, and then he 
Why didn't you just ask he the question that told I asked? The secret, right? Did Jesus tell me I can't, I can't marry somebody people. black? But, uh, but, uh, Would you answer that question? Say what? Can, did Jesus tell me I can't marry somebody black? I don't know. Well, did your prophet tell you that you can't marry somebody white? Well, he ain't never told us we couldn't marry nobody white. He told All right, us here we go. be best to have it. our now, own. see, I know your book. He said you best, come for, on here best for us like... to be with his no, own. here be we go. Be with our Let's own. just go ahead and let him listen to him. Your, your black skin is the best and never try changing his color. Stay away from intermixing with That's your slave right. master children. Love yourself and your kind. I agree with that. I agree right. with that. Well, why do you just I said, I said marry your own kind. Ain't what that what I said? You said you got me wrong. No. No, I had to weasel out of you. You ain't had to weasel out of you. See, Johnny, you ask questions to me. You ask me questions that ask a question directly to what, it, what you want to okay, know. Okay, here it is. Can you marry a white woman? Could I? If I wanted to, I could. What does your prophet say? Well, he told us to stay with our own. Okay, now Jesus did not do that. Jesus is not racist. Well, Jesus came to his own first. Who is his own? It, am, uh, am I, I'm not a Jew. Jesus was a black man. Am I? Well, then, I'm glad you... Do you know I'm, that? I'm glad you cleared that up for us. Now, okay. how did you figure that? Yeah, you you said, said, I can show you that in this book. Well, go yes. ahead. Uh, Jesus uh, said he the root and offspring of David, right? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you something what the Bible say about them. Now, which Bible are you gonna use? The this, one you this don't believe. This is one you got. This the one, one you, you don't got. believe. Okay, well that's good. I love that. Now, Revelation. Let's go to I, Revelation. Let's go to the Revelation. Okay. It, it's the 22nd uh, chapter of Revelation. I, Jesus, has sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. He said, I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Now, for 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 uh, uh, Jesus be the root and offspring of David. One, somebody there have to take it back to David, right? Can Mary do that? Uh, you can go ahead and make your point. I'm asking you a question. I have no idea what you're talking about. Can Mary uh, take uh, 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 the bloodline back to David? Let's say I say yes and no. That's no, what you've been no, doing all can't. night. She okay, can't. but anyway, make your point. She can't. You know that, John. I said make your point. You, you, you sure get uh, uh, amnesia when you want it. No, I'm, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you get amnesia you're like you don't know. you Jesus is a black man. Right. You want me to help right. you do it. I'm not going right. to Now, David is, 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 is what's the uh, father of uh, Solomon, right? Uh, we was with right, Samson and Delilah go to ago. I don't know where you at. Let's go to Solomon. All right, now what are you proving now? That I can marry a black woman? That Jesus was black. That Jesus was a black man. Okay, so Jesus came to his own. Now you're saying Jesus came to the black people. I thought you said that well, Elijah Muhammad well, you know had what? a greater Je job than Jesus. Jesus, uh, Jesus came to, uh, uh, to the black the, people. The people over in the east, right? Uh, okay. Well, not in the east, really in Europe. And okay, they killed well, him because they, they said they killed him, but he, they didn't kill him. Okay, you're saying that Palestine is in Europe. Now, how now. do you know that? How in the world do you know that? He I don't mean, know any of this. He just made it didn't kill him. Because uh, we got the true story of Jesus and Where'd Jesus. Where'd you get it? Uh, from Master Fra Muhammad. The one who had to go to school this in, in right the here. University of California? He didn't go to no school. You know, I said he oh. went into all the colleges. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. All the colleges. Look, look here. Look here, y'all. Now, he just said he didn't go to school. Look who I got on the screen, my best friend. I got some long lost tapes. Sons of Solomon. I got okay, long lost Why don't we? Why don't, let's Charles, deal, with, why don't let's we, deal with this. Solomon is the son of uh, David, right? We've been now listen to this. He said, I am black. All the time. He said, I am black, but come ye, O daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Canaan you know what? and the curtains of Solomon. So Solomon was a black man, so okay. he the root of David. So wh what could Jesus be? And Mary you know was an Egyptian woman. Egypt is in Africa, right? So okay, here, Africa, here's what we have. Mary was an African woman. Here's what we have. We're and loving the Pope it. of Rome got a black Madonna and baby in his chain. Okay, we're loving, we're, mm -hmm. loving yes, we're loving it. Yes, we're sir. loving it. Yes, sir. We're loving it. Okay, now and you he, said. And he go and, 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 and turn and to the black Madonna now, Charles, and say I his little you words. Were this. Say he his little words. He's not letting me say anything. Yeah, let Johnny speak. Now. All right, now here you said Jesus came to his own people. Now yeah. who was his people? Black people. Okay, now we got you saying that Jesus came to the black people. And then you turned around and said that Elijah Muhammad had a greater, uh, excuse me, uh, Elijah Far Farad Muhammad, who is actually God in the person of this man, he had a greater job than Jesus. What was his job, did you say? His job was to resurrect the dead. No, that's not what you said a while ago. Am I going to play you back? Resurrect the dead. What did you say a while ago? His job was to resurrect that's the black man you... and the black woman in the hills of North America. Okay, now wait a minute. And then we the dead. Let me talk. What did the dead do, Johnny? Okay, here we go. What did the dead go. do? What did the dead man let do? Him, let him, let He's him. He's not him. <laughs> see, but see, I have another program. I'm yeah. becoming on Sunday night, and yeah. we're going to do this right. He said, and I'm going to play him on Sunday night, saying that Jesus came to his own, and Jesus is a black man, and then he turns around and says, Elijah Muhammad has got, no, excuse me, Master Farad Muhammad has a greater job than Jesus. Well, what is it, Malvester? He came to the black man. I thought you said Jesus came to the black man. Which you know is what? It? You know what? The, the truth of the matter is, Johnny, Jesus uh, uh, was the firstborn of the dead, right? We're changing the subject. 
no, no, How come you no, don't answer the question? No, I'm, I'm just dealing with. You. I'm dealing with. I'm trying to bring you uh, where the people can no, understand you're trying to what you're saying. The All you're trying to do, Johnny, is confuse you're people. You're trying to you're change not trying the subject. To, you're not trying to. Well, can bring. I can I just break it down then? Let's just break it down. Did Jesus come to the black people or not? Jesus came to his own first. What is he? Huh? Jesus was a black man after yes, all that. All right, so he came to the black man. Let me let me show you in uh, Would Revelation. Would you just answer? We don't Go need ahead. all that. You already Go said this is your Jesus book. came. This is your book, Johnny. You said what did the Bible say? That's what your show is no, about. No, I'm right? saying what does my vester say tonight? <laughs> I'm going to show you what I say. And, and you know what? On Sunday night, we're going to get a good dose of what did Mal Vester say. Because yeah. I've been playing you for 10 years saying Jesus that. didn't die. I know that. And you did a wonderful job tonight. Let's, let's, let me see if I can recount. Jesus didn't die. The, the King James Bible is not the truth. He don't follow the Quran either because Listen he can't read guy. Arabic. And Jesus came to the black man and didn't do his job. And Master Farad Muhammad had to do a better job than Jesus. He came to the black man too. This now, is, I talking about, talking about did, the did son I make man. a mistake? The son Would you man. tell the people, did I make a mistake? Or did I recount Johnny, what it was? you talking in confusion. You talking uh, uh, you're well, saying just, a lot of things, and I don't know what you're saying. Well, I know I'm keeping but up I, with I you. But I'm keeping up with what I'm talking about. I'm well, talking I'll say about, this. I, on Sunday night, I'm going to document everything I just said. Well, that I know you're going to beat me up on that by yourself. That's I'll tell you what, right. I'll let you come on. I've been begging uh, you for uh, 10 years. I, here's my offer to the community right now. Malvester can come on. I was begging him to anyway. He came on this show where my hand's been tied behind my back all night. I had shorter speeches than him, and he's been basically taking over the program ever since Johnny, we started. stop crying. I'm saying you, I give you free time. Free time, Malvester. Are we going to have to wait another 10 years? Years? Listen, listen. He, I, I'm saying, he, will you tell the community this, this tonight? Is, this is a description of Jesus. Will you tell Jesus. the community tonight before we go off? This is a description of Jesus. Are you coming on on Sunday night? His so head and his hair was white like wool. And I got woolly hair. Okay, Charles. Okay. Got, uh, okay. Kind of curly hair okay. too. Okay. Woolly. Does that mean he's a black white man? White as snow. And his eyes was as flames of fire. And his feet like until fine brass. Look at that. That's brass right there. You John. know what? Listen, if listen, you want to convince me that Jesus and, is a black man, that's fine. And, all you undoing and is as they burn doctrine. in a furnace. As they burn in a furnace, Good. Johnny. Good. Listen at that. Okay. Now, you don't believe in your own book? Okay, now who's going to deliver me, please tell me? Uh, you know what? What? Uh, who's going to deliver me? Oh, no, remember, I got your book. Uh, okay. What are we? Uh, what, what are we? Gentiles. Oh, no, come on now. What does Elijah Muhammad say we really are? You are the Gentiles. No, come on now. I'm fixing to read it. What does Elijah well, Muhammad well, say we really are? You tell me what he said. We're the devil. Okay, then. Are we? Are we? All right, I'm, I'm going to show no, you something. No, go ahead. No. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to let you answer that. Give, give me that book over no, there without no. sanctions. I'm going to let you answer that. What no, is I, you? We, we don't need my answer. What, is, what, is, what, is, what have you, your, you uh, and, and your people have done to us since we've been in the hills of North America? All right, here we go. Now, did Je Jesus didn't give me a chance either because he was a black man. See, I tell you what, the white folk don't have a chance in the in the nation of Islam. Jesus was a black man, came to his look own. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that, Johnny. Okay. Who would do Who would do something like that? You know what? I'm asking you a question. Who would do something like that? You know what, Malvester? Now see Hang what he's doing. Hang a man up like that. See what he's doing. Hang a man up. Who would do something like that, Bob? Someone's got a lot of hatred. A devil, right? Yeah. Okay, then. Thank so, you. So, Johnny, Thank you you you, you, you ask me a question. All white men are devils. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Who would do that? Yeah. Okay. Are we going to take any questions? I ain't said all yeah, of them yeah. was, but you know the what? ones that did stuff like this. You know what? They I devils have, ever shut straight I up. Ever since I've been in, in Virginia, I've planned for my son to marry one of the black members' look at that. daughters in the look congregation where I am. Who, who, who would do that? Did you yeah. hear me, Malvester? Somebody evil. See, Malvester, he's devil. trying to, he is look actually that. trying. Look at that. Black man, man after black man. Times. Black man after black man. We, the white man's been... Um, Look at that, look at that. Just killed the black man for no reason. The white man has Did he lie? Did he lie? Did your man lie when he said a white man's a devil? Yeah, did he lie? I mean, from this book, looking at this book. Who is that book? Now, I played Without Malcolm sanction. X. Without I, sanction. I played That's Malcolm book. X out of his own mouth saying, you all killed him because he exposed your prophet. And Johnny, you said, you said, we ain't going to take that. I, 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 I won't even address that stuff you're saying, Johnny, because it don't make Hold sense. Hold on, Carla. We'll give you a chance look, to look, look We're going to take a break. That's what Malcolm is Now, you tell me, this is a black man's religion. And you're basically trying to have a black man take over. I know you was going to come up with that because you know what? Uh, uh, now, now, now. Did uh, I come up with it or did, did you, did, man? No, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught the truth. About what? And he, t and he said that because he taught with, uh, light with darkness in it. He had to teach the black man uh, uh, the little, little darkness and he had to teach the white man light because the white man was being such a devil so he told him there was a devil. Forever? Listen, 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 Johnny. Well, let, 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 forever? Let, let, me, let me explain this. Ever since we've been in the hills of North America, he, he, you know, he was doing that to us. And so he told him that there was a devil. And when he said that, that caused a reaction. It made him do better. 
Made who do better? The white man. So he lighten up off us a little so, bit. But we're still devils, so what's the difference? Well, you know what? Uh, uh, okay. A can devil, we, can we a play de his you trumpet? can't be a devil unless you do a deed of a devil. Trumpet? My master, you've never seen me do anything like you saw in that Well, I, I ain't call you no devil. I, I just asked you, who's, who's going to deliver me? Uh, uh, That's how we got into this I, discussion. I was getting ready to tell you that Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan going to uh, gonna, uh, go to the, uh, you know Jonah had to go to Nineveh, and, and Jonah didn't like the Ninevites? We got to take a break, folks. Jonah, Stay with us. We'll be right back. I'm your little... My goodness. Let's see. Where were we? Let's take his call. We might get a call in tonight. Good evening. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I've been in a Christian home, Baptist, for 43 years. Right. And the you only got a thing question. that the Bible says is a man not to take another man as his partner or another woman taking another woman as his partner. And as far as anybody knowing what color Jesus is, they don't know he could be. All right. We're not asking for your opinion. We want Thank your questions. You. Good I'm evening. I'm glad y'all are running the show. How you doing, Bob? Good. What's your question? Uh, I have a question for uh, Johnny Roberts. Lay it on it. Did you did, did you just say that you don't believe in you don't teach tithes and offerings? Did you say you don't do that? Man, where have you been? No, I, I'm fixing to put stickers on cars that says "Say no to tithes." Yeah, that's the answer to answer that question. Good evening. Got a question? Yes. Hold on. Can't hold long, honey. We're on live TV. Time is precious. Hello. Go ahead. I was just listening to the debate and um. My question to both of them was, uh, let me see, are we still on here? Because I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, we're still here. My question to both of them was, I didn't hear, I, 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 I'm hearing that both of them are acknowledging God is God. And, you know, none of them are saying that God is not the creator, right? Right, right. No, 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 no. He's saying Master Farad Muhammad is God. I'm saying that the no, God. No, no, no. Well, I'm who not did create Johnny, Let me talk for myself. You talk for you. Okay, would you just tell us who created the earth then? And I'm going to read out uh, your book after uh, you get through it. Uh, the Creator created the heavens and it? the earth. God Almighty. And who is it? Uh, 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 Master Farad Muhammad Thank was born. Thank you. Wait a minute, listen. I said Master Farad Muhammad was born in 1877, so he couldn't have been the one that created the heaven and did the earth. Did your prophet say he's going to I create? I said he came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And what's he going to you do? Are, you said that Jesus came in the person of God, so what's the problem? I you know, it. the problem is, Johnny, that you he says are that trying Master to make Farad some Muhammad out of nothing. is going to create another earth greater than the one no, that Yaqub no, created. No, that's not, that's not what, uh, what I said, or that's not what he said. Okay, did Yaqub create the first one? Create what? The first earth, 66 no, trillion no, years ago. No, no, well, no, 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 66 no, trillion no. years ago, who did that? Uh, Yaku is the one that made the man, uh, ma uh, created man in his image and his likeness. If you go into what Genesis. What does it say right here? Who is Yaku? Genesis. Here is it right here? God. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let's go to Genesis. Uh, That's the book you don't right believe, here. remember? Uh, uh, where Genesis dealing with, uh, he said, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish to file is that Allah? everything from no is that no this is this is yaku okay and thank then you. listen listen thank then, you. and then go down and uh, go down the to the 27th verse the devil J johnny just in case y'all don't let you talk know. and then you let me talk oh, you hadn't let me so, talk don't even ahead. go there you go have ahead. not let go me ahead. talk all right let's let's read it out of his book the entire creation of Allah God is of peace, not including the devils, who are not the creation of Allah God, but a race created by the enemy, Yaqub of Allah. Yaqub rebelled against Allah and the righteous people and was cast out of the homes of the righteous into the worst part of the planet to live their way of life until the fixed day for their doom. Now, you already said, and I got it on tape while we was on break, that we was made devils, it's not our own fault, and we headed for doom, and Jesus is a black man, so but we don't have to deliver. You can change, Johnny. What do I have to change into? All you got to do is change and submit to God. Submit which God? Uh, to the true and living God. Okay, where am I going to find his word? Is it here or is it who, in the Quran? Who, uh, it ain't but one God. Where is his word? Uh, it, uh, the truth, uh, some truth is in this book, and the truth is in the Quran, and the truth is in that book right there. Okay, so now I got it straight. I got to have the Quran, the message of the black man, and you, the Bible. Which you Bible? You know what? You should have all the books of God. Oh, this is the book of God? Uh, everything, everything that uh, come out from the nation of Islam is books of God. Well, this one contradicts this one. No, it don't. Well, it doesn't say that the world was created it's 66 back. trillion years ago. Oh, oh, the earth was created. See, this book only covers six days. Oh. Wait a minute, six okay. days and the seventh day is your rest. And this but, book covers 66 trillion. And it go back further than that. Really? Who, who's the man now? The master for our mind. That went to University of California to find all Wait this stuff out? See, you're saying something I didn't say. I didn't say he went to University see, of California. I said he went into the all the colleges. I said he went into all the colleges and studied. But right. see, Malvester, you're not the authority. I read your book. It you know says he secret. was at the University of California. 
That's well, what your well, book says. Well, you know what? If, if, if that book say that. Then it's true. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, right. Okay. It's, it's true. But what I'm saying is that he said he went and studied in all the uh, universes. In 20 years? He, he was coming in and out in t for, uh, for 20 years. You mean to tell me that now. you can study in every educational system in the world and in 20 years? And he spoke 16 different languages. I heard that too. Okay. And now, let, uh, let's just get the community on in on this so y'all can judge. This man in 20 years now, the Ph.D. program he studied today. studied for 64 years to come to get us. Now, wait a minute. I thought 64 it was 20 years. years no, he studied 64 years before he came to get us. Uh, this book says 40 years. Well, you know what? Uh, I, I know what I'm talking about. The book don't say that. Mm. Okay. The book don't say that. All right, well, Malvester, I mean, uh, Malcolm X said that, that the Nation of Islam was trying to kill him. I don't care well, what you know, Malvester well, you, said. You know what? Well, you can try to use the uh, same thing George Bush used, feel tackers on people. People are above that. I don't even have to address that. All right, Carl. We, we will above question. that. Hello? I have a question for Malvester. Yes, sir. Uh, who is selling slaves in the Sudan? White men or black men? Uh, if you watch and see the hidden hand, and you will see why they are doing it, because uh, Sudan, Is it, the draw, the answer, draw. Forget let, it. He let, ain't gonna answer straight. Uh, well, let me. Well, let me. Uh, second let, question is, so you're not gonna answer. The second question is, what is the national religion? Uh, it's Islam, isn't it? Yes, sir. Islam and black people, black man, is, is black black Islamic people are selling black people. Thank you. Well, listen, listen. Black folks in America selling one another too. So what's the big deal about that? The, the point is, the, the, the point is that you got to look at the hidden hand. You got to look at the, you got to look at the hidden hand. The hidden hand is that the the, the draw, uh, the, therefore, uh, got the biggest uh, body of oil. Uh, it's bigger than Saudi Arabia, and Here so the 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 the, the greedy the greedy people that? the greedy people of the Did world uh, 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 Europe and America and now China is in the in the ball, and and they trying to get that money. So what they do? They cause confusion, make them fight among themselves. Then they go in as peacekeepers and take the oil under their feet. I mean, they've been doing this for years. That's why no, we're in Iraq now. Question, That's why we're in Iraq now. So yes, it's black people are uh, uh, selling, uh, black killing people. one another. Yeah. But but you know what? Look look here in the streets of America, uh, over 30,000 people was killed last year. Black people. Black people. I don't and, 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 and why is we killing one another? Because of that. drugs and guns in our community? You can put, you put drugs and guns in, in a community among people that's not qualified to deal with that, and what you gonna get nothing but death. So you blame it, it, we we, we blame die more in America than we do in the wars. Now, I thought you said a while ago that Elijah, uh, Elijah Muhammad had, had cured that. Weren't you talking? No, about, no, no. What I, did you say? And lay down. Bedtime, cut the TV off now. Lights off. Oh, you got a question? That's a good I, I can show you something, Johnny. Uh, uh, the drug dealers can't go to the mosque and sell drugs, but they can sit in the church, in front of the church, and that's sell it all say. day. That's what you say. But that's Hello. what's going on. You don't Hello, we can't prove that they don't sell them at the mosque. No, I know that they don't. No, you don't. Hello, <laughs> Carl. I know that. You I don't know even that. have a mosque here. All right, put your kids. In I bed. know that. Hello, caller. You got to speak up now if you're going to talk. We're limited on time here. What's your question? Hello. But John, let's get back to this. Uh, this a uh, made man and his creator. Hello, man. caller. Listen to this. So God created oh, man in His own I'm image. Now, yes, sir. I'm trying to ask a question. Now, you yes, let this guy confuse you, man. You, um, you are. You let him confuse you. What's your question? Uh, Malcolm X was. I appreciate that. He's Good telling evening. the. In, he's telling yeah, how he feels about this debate. question. We're just asking questions. Yeah, Malvester. Let's hear the question. Yes. question. We got enough preaching going on up here. Yes. Go ahead. Right. Um, yes, I believe that the black man. Man, we're not asking you to believe. What's your question? You got a question? I, I asked. I was getting ready to ask him a question about. Okay, ask your question. Hello? Do you have a question? Yes, I have a question for my Vesta. Go ahead. So, my Vesta, what do you think that we should do as black people right now with the way things are with, with the economy? Uh, I think that we uh, should organize and pool our resources together and do something for ourselves. Because as God take this country down, he, he taking it down for us to get loose, like he did with Pharaoh. And if you read the scriptures, the scripture said that it'll come a time like the time of Noah, and it would be, uh, uh, things will be going on like the same time of Noah. If you look at this, 
The man, weather you really been need hidden. to get loose, don't you? The Obama's fixing been to be president, and the black man can't get loose. The weather been hidden. Uh, the Master, bread basket in our our and uh, Nebraska and all of that is the be bread the basket, right? Of the nation, and you still can't get loose. And the, and the bread basket. Did you hear me? If, if, if did you hear me, my master? You want to address that, Johnny? You uh, talked over she me. She asked me a question, and I'm telling you, you and her that a black man is fixing to be president of the United States and you still need to get loose. You know what? You know what you're doing is you're trying to keep us back there where we were, which we're trying to get over, and a black man is fixing to be you know, the leader the, of this the, world. The scripture said the stone that the builders rejected is Jesus. becoming the headstone of the corner. So Obama, Obama is that stone that was rejected, and now he's becoming the headstone you know what? The of this country. The only problem you got is Louis Farrakhan <laughs> you had to, you had to be president. You had, to, you, had to, you had to know that. But, but so is, Barack is, Obama can save this country. Okay, now I thought yes, you said we yes. weren't going to get loose. Uh, uh, uh. You said we're fixing to bring, bring us down, and you got a black man fixing to be at the top. That's a good time but, to bring but, us uh, down. But he can save this country because the Middle East is so getting is that ready your to prophecy? boil over. Is and that it, your prophecy? That my, America's fixing to go down with a black man at the I head? I wanted to address what your sister was saying, John. You won't let me do that. I'll let you do it tomorrow night. I mean, Sunday no, night. No, no. See, 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 see. I'll let you do it Sunday night. See, see, you won't even have to address me at all. We'll have fair time. Not like we did tonight where I had to give you extra time. See, see, and uh, we have it on tape. You was fixing to leave out of here if you didn't get your way. Well, we have it all on. We videoed ourselves. Wasn't you fixing to leave out of here if you didn't get your own way? See, Johnny, well, you, is you, that true? you're just saying a whole lot of okay, stuff. Okay, we're going to play that, it on that, Sunday that, night. That, now, the community needs to listen. Mal Vester was fixing to leave out of here unless he got his own way. He tried to hold us hostage here. We got it on video. I'm offering him free time. He can have those, you can have those six or those four 10-minute segments, Mal Vester. I won't interrupt you. I'll be fair to you. you then we'll talk. Well, do it now then. No, uh, you tried to hold us now. hostage here. We couldn't do it. Do it. I'll let you talk. And right. I'll let you talk. Who had the longest speech? It's me or oh, you. Okay. Uh, let me, let me, let me have, uh, you got four minutes. Let me have oh, a couple of minutes. Then you have a couple of minutes. Two minutes, uh, please. Uh, Let's close. The, the thing is, I see, I can see a change coming. Uh, what the sister was asking, what, what should we do? I see a change. Uh, I, I'm working with uh, ministers in Danville. Uh, and as long as we got ministers like, like uh, Bishop Dillard, uh, he was talking against him, Reverend Tyler. Uh, Bishop Kellum and uh, Reverend Roy oh, and, and Reverend Hagwood. You know what? I love the church. I love the church. Johnny, you, you shouldn't be beating on our brothers. Our brothers uh, reading These the scriptures. These guys are riding the back listen, of John, people, let me, and I'm proving see, it. See, see, that's not You fair. address me. I got, don't address I, me I and got, then don't I tell got, me not to talk. And, 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 and then down with the Reverend Avon King and, and uh, Reverend uh, Booker George and, and Reverend Griffin and Reverend Lenlin and uh, Pastor Camel and Reverend oh. Stewart. Uh, Apostle uh, Worldwide, you know, these men, the back these of the people, men Campbell? is doing some great work. It would not Man. be for them. Our people wouldn't have nothing. They wouldn't have nothing to go to. It, you know what? Uh, the thing that, that you talk about, uh, denomination, that don't even matter. Now, you know, my now, here coat, we my, got, here my, we my coat, Let's talk my about suit got a label on it, and yours got a label on it, but that don't folks, make you who folks, you are. Listen, uh, what make us who we are is, a, is, a is, is how we have. And a How three hundred thousand dollar car, and his son now has got a two million dollar house. And Malvester saying we wouldn't have nothing if it wasn't for the Campbells. The Campbells got it all, man. They riding the backs of these poor people, and you're supporting them. I'm glad you're on record. But the people record. love him, though, John. I know they do. All they right, love man. a tyrant. People, it's that way all the time. The people love and him. You know what? You, know, you what? know what? If they love him, then what do you have to do with? with it? A debate in Marksville, now this is the nation of Islam. Virginia, excuse me. I can't with even get them to verify that you're with Lester. them. They don't tell you nothing. Uh, they ain't telling you nothing either. <laughs> don't worry about that. I, I, I'm all right. What is his name? Malvester Dixon. But, uh, uh, Malvester? No, Malvester. Oh, Malvester. This is the editor Actually, of Final Call. Uh, he so what's that mean? We'll see. Virginia. Listen to it. <laughs> okay, you See what she said. Oh, okay. And your name, sir? Johnny Robertson. Uh, the re the really the reason that I'm calling is Malvester has had some difficulties in the past. Uh, he was actually arrested and uh, accused, uh, he and his uh, bodyguard, 
Once you arrested, John. Once you arrested, you done been. But uh, uh, you was arrested for something you did I once. Speak bad about you. Just but, 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 but the point is, uh, I don't go around telling people that you was arrested. <laughs> that ain't the point. The point is, you should have. You should. You should. You should be a. You should. You should be a man of better standards and, uh, and principles than that. Well, don't look like she's telling you nothing. She didn't call me back either. Are you telling me tonight that you're... You the nation actually, is not going to answer you, Johnny. Oh, uh, will they answer you? Can you prove this community? I'm, you I'm not going to prove nothing to you. I wouldn't either if I could. Okay, then. I don't have to prove nothing I know to you. I don't. All right, could. then. You could. So do you really I don't, I don't the have to prove... You know, no, I, I'm not a, a, a local representative well, of the nation of Islam. Well, thank you. So see what I we have say here I is we have a farce. I was before uh, what happened to me. This whole thing is a farce. He doesn't even represent the nation of Islam. Uh, you just admitted uh, listen, it. That when, when I when, when you I just when, when I talked to you when I talked to you, I made that promise to you, then I were. But why uh, didn't you tell us tonight that you weren't? You didn't ask me. So you just went on and let the community think that you represented. No, I don't let them well? think nothing. What did I say? What did I come up here and introduce myself as anything other than Malvas? So what you talking about, John? I'm just basically you, making you know, it clear. Uh, you, you're trying to use your. Uh, Sneaky, you just like a serpent. Okay. You crawl up I'm and make sneaky. a crooked turn. I'm sneaky because you know? I expose that you're not you know even in the nation of Islam anymore. Uh, who told you that? You just did. No, I ain't told you that. You just said See, you I, didn't represent. you put words in my mouth. You know what? I'm also putting them on I tape. Say, I say I'm not a, a I'm the representative. Tape. Thank you. That's what I mean. You don't represent the nation of Islam anymore, and these are not the fruit of Islam either. That's what you say. You tell us, tell us if they are then. I'm not going to tell you no. I wouldn't either if I could. Because I didn't come up here for that. I come okay. up here to debate you, you for this. You come up here to represent the Nation of Islam, of which you're not a representative anymore. I am a member of the Nation of Islam. Okay. And, and, and So and who is the representative? I'd like to debate uh, the brother, representative. Brother, brother Kevin Dalton uh, from Region Will Lake. he meet me? I don't know. We'll send him a DVD of this uh, and see. You can look in the phone book and find his name. Well, see, I didn't know. See, I was under the impression you let me have the impression that you were still the, the representative. I ain't gave you no kind of impression. Well, you sure didn't you clear did, it up. Well, why you didn't ask me? I was planning on asking. And, and when you See, brought I, me, I actually brought you, it up when, when I got when, ready. And when you brought me on the TV, you introduced, introduced me as Mavisa Dixon. That's where you've been introducing no. me all the week. I, I that's that's where you've been introducing me all the week, Mavisa Dixon. Okay, you said that didn't bother me. Okay, no, it, it don't. It don't, it don't okay. bother me. Haven't I been trying to correct it? I've been trying to say it, my, my you know best what? to Muhammad. It don't make no difference. All right, what are you bringing up for? Because, uh, because you, I caught you it, acting because, like you're the representative of the nation of Islam. No, I ain't never tried to do that. I ain't never said that. That's you saying that, Johnny. Whatever you want to say, Johnny. You say it. Mm -hmm. I don't, wonder. That don't make us true, though. Okay. Stop, stop oh, we got the truth. Stop you come at, on out stop and Stop speaking it. with a fork at Tom, John. We got out and we got the truth. Now, for the community now, for y'all to know, this man mm. doesn't represent, he's not the representative of the nation of Islam I ain't never say I were. Okay, thank you. All right, folks, we got to wrap it up. Hey, thank y'all for coming, and I'm uh, sure uh, we'll have another chance. Another, real quickly, uh, do both parties feel like they've been able to say what you want to say? I definitely do, even though I had to take shorter speeches. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I said uh, some of the stuff, but uh, Johnny, he won't give me the, t the time. Like that young lady, she was serious, and I should have been able to address that. You know, you should have. We should have the true representative you, you, you are, you are. represented. Answer her. And ma'am, you heard his name is Dawes, did you say? If you want to get tr in touch with the true representative of the nation of Islam, this is not the man. All right. Well, Jonathan, can you just walk away and let, give him two minutes? Yeah, to yeah, sure. Take your mic off. Yeah. I'll give you two. I want to make sure you have two minutes. I'll give you two hours. You your, your mic off. No. We'll give you two minutes to, to have the last word. Oh, uh, I would like to kind of uh, address what that young lady was saying. We need to, uh, uh, as black people, we need to come together, and uh, uh, and we need to uh, organize and, and 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 mobilize so that we can be able to get a net where we can save our people because hard times coming, as the tornadoes hidden in the in the. Uh, uh, Midwest, where uh, and our our and our our and uh, Nebraska and all them areas they call the bread basket, right? And and, and as the, the the water floods, then uh, uh, food on be shortage. And and if you look, the gas going up the trucks as the trucks uh, uh, the fuel go up, then the food don't go high in the grocery store. People gonna get hungry, and somebody need to sound the alarm. And we uh, not only black folk, all people gonna suffer. In these few days that's coming up, because God is angry, and He's and, and and if you understand God's wrath, 
God's wrath is what you see from the tornadoes, but chastisement is what he gonna do to black people. God gonna chastise us because we uh, don't wanna obey. We just like Israel, we kept on uh, be being hard-headed and stiff-necked. We got to submit, and if we submit, God will deliver us, and we, and, uh, and, and we got books. We need to read our books and be true to who we say we are. And I, I like to say, uh, uh, I appreciate uh, the time, and uh, may peace be with you, and uh, assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Have a good night.